We came from all. You can see where we came from at the start of the first leg. You can see the uh, yep. hotel right there. Desolation Wilderness. City boy, our viewers are happy to see that I've found you again on the Pacific Crest Trail. There's Dirty Mike. Oh yeah, I gotta say I'm happy to be out here with City Boy and Tailspin. Miles and Smiles. That's right. There's a sign for Desolation Wilderness. I wonder if that means that I just came out the other end of it. I thought it was bigger. I don't know. But uh, going through nice, dense forest here. Relatively flat. I'm on a slow descent right now. Uh, headed down to Richardson Lake. It's, uh, oh, it's a few miles shy of where I'd like to camp today. Um, that'll be 22 miles for the day. Like there's another spot like four miles further. Get the 26 in. Spent too much time in Tahoe. But uh, city boy Tinky Winky, my buddy uh, Mike, aka aka Moonwalker, is back. Well, I mean, not far. So I'm gonna stop at the lake and uh, take a break there and. I'm sure they'll show up uh, pretty soon after I get there. I'm only uh, probably a mile and a half from there, so about a half hour. This is my setup. This is uh, kind of PCT Cribs episode here. I've seriously thought about writing welcome on my uh, seat pad just because I think it'd be funny. Here's my setup though. I've got a Lightheart Gear tent, Z-Pack sleeping bag, got my Sea to Summit pillow, and uh, Thermarest NeoAir sleeping pad, but I sleep very soundly every night with this uh, setup here, and it's got a I've got a nice vestibule on both sides. This side actually can be like a big porch almost if I uh, run the tarp up all the way and use a awning pole in the Sierra I used my ice axe but I got rid of it and uh, can unzip on this side as well and uh, have a nice little screen house here single wall tent but um, I really like it and sleep very well in there so there you have it all right, I need to change into my camp clothes and make dinner. Me and Seti Boy on the way into town, less than a mile from pitching into Truckee. Got some PBRs. Ayo. Ayo. A little bit of trail magic. Gentleman celebrating his first day of retirement as day hiking with his daughter with a backpack full of PBRs. A little bit of trail magic and uh gonna hitch in the trucky and we've heard rumors of a all you can eat indian buffet I'm gonna finish out this last mile here and head into town okay guys i'll see you at the church in sierra city at the latest maybe in camp tonight perhaps so, i'm not that angry. So Tinky Winky's getting a haircut. Damn. And being a bum. And yeah, and City Boy's bumming it. Okay. 
You need to get out of here before you're like, uh, let's, uh, I'm not, no, there's, no, let's get the room again for one more day. Okay, I gotta go to the outfitter because I just busted a pair of socks. Yep. About to go, uh, through the tunnel underneath I-80, just north of, uh, what town did I just leave? Truckee. Here we are. Oh, for the longest, for the longest time. Woo! Feels nice in here. I got moving uh, about a quarter till noon because I had to put new uh, tips on both of my trekking poles. And when I got to the trail, it took me a while to swap them out. It's such a pain in the ass. I think I'm on my sixth and seventh tips at this point. I have managed to do like 15 miles and it's about 4.30 um, and I think I can do another 10 coming up on a water source and according to Gut Hook it's like the last water source until uh, where I'm trying to camp tonight which isn't bad 10 miles liter and a half will do it for me so I'm gonna stop there and uh, get water take a quick break and uh, make a ham sandwich to pack some uh, cold cuts out of town because I'm getting so tired of eating the same old shit every day so I'm stepping up my uh, food game and I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, testing on what what foods are good for how long out of a refrigerator so we'll see all right i've talked too much i'm gonna go find this water truckee california was the last time that i spent with the original trail family from the desert and sierra sections of the trail some trail families make it all the way to canada together but it may surprise you that most don't it's a really long way from Mexico to Canada, and any amount of time that you can cherish with amazing people, hikers on the trail, it's just absolutely priceless. At the waterfall just south of Sierra City, I met three hikers. Their names are Bits, Cosmo, and Rafiki. Now get ready to see a lot of them on camera later on because we end up hiking over a thousand miles together. Haven't seen one of those since the desert. Rattlesnake. Ugh. Heard him. Ooh, and to think the other day I thought about putting in two headphones feeling good today two days ago I cruised 26 miles in, uh, just over eight hours um, then yesterday probably because of the day before yesterday, yesterday I was just beat it was a tough 16 miles into Sierra City and uh, today I got my mojo back but yeah, this is pretty much the yeah the top of the climb, dirt road. Oh, always nice having a PCT sign. But I'm gonna keep cruising here, try to do a nice full 25-ish uh, mile day. It's about one o'clock. Northern California is one of the most mentally draining sections of the PCT. The Sierra is over, a lot of trail families have fallen apart. You've still got a lot of miles to go to Canada, but your next cold beer is always closer than the Canadian border. So just win those small battles and just keep enjoying the day to day. 24 miles for the day, pretty solid. Uh, right on track with what I'd like to be doing now at this point. Um, past 1200 miles today on the trail and uh, 
yeah, feeling good. And, uh, gosh, screw the desert. This is beautiful. This is incredible. The last hour of sunlight, the, uh, just the sun going down on the horizon, the light shining through the trees. Uh, super cool. I'm going to get off here and find uh, this campsite and the water. Need some water. Oh, I've been cruising. I'm in like my 28th out of 29 miles for today. And I had my closest dangerous rattlesnake encounter just now. Um, rattlesnake was on the edge of this rock right here. Didn't rattle till I was standing here. Ran across the trail um, and I stopped my momentum um, probably about six inches from it. Um, maybe even closer. I, I just about stepped on on it when I was trying to stop. If it wanted to strike me, it could have. All right, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get going. One mile left, 29 for the day, and uh, it's somewhere in there. Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, well, I had a thought this morning and uh, it's Saturday and I thought maybe I'll come across some trail magic. And then a mile before I was gonna stop for lunch, I crossed this road. I haven't crossed too many roads lately, but right at the trailhead was some trail magic. These two gentlemen, uh, Pete and Miles, they had uh, trail magic going on. And so a bunch of hikers and myself uh, had sandwiches, chips, cinnamon rolls. Um, they had all kinds of different beers from uh, Sierra Nevada and uh, hung out there for man a couple hours um, such a great uh, pick-me-up perfectly placed and timed trail magic um, like location is like key with trail magic and they oh they nailed it I'm three three days out of Sierra City um, and I was about to have uh, ramen for lunch and whatever uh, other junk I've got in my food bag but the food they had was way better and they were so nice had some really good conversation with those two guys so wow but as far as uh, sitting and eating having some beers and chatting, I think that was the best trail magic so far on the PCT. Just gonna keep on rolling here, and a buddy of mine, uh, his name's Ladies First, haven't seen him since Bishop, but I've seen him on and off on the trail uh, through the desert. Just saw him this morning for the first time in 400 miles, so. I think we're gonna camp in the same spot together. He took off from the trail magic about uh, five minutes before I did. So I'll probably catch him up here at some point and camp out together tonight. And I'm gonna go into Belden tomorrow and get just enough uh, food to get me to Chester.
chilling in oh, uh, Belden. Where are we at, Streak? I've no somewhere in Belden, Belden Town Resort. Belden Town, On something or other. <laughs> Getting bit by ants and flies. Yeah, but we got a river and some PBRs. And uh, it's about 7:30, kind of worth it. Yeah, we got to go jump in this river before it gets dark. Crossing the river in Belden. Jump, don't jump off the bridge. Water's too shallow. Everybody signed it? <laughs> all right pretty exciting uh hit the halfway point a few miles ago um getting off in about a mile um at a road that takes me into chester california i'm definitely gonna stay there tonight and the rest of today i've got some uh town chores to do I gotta charge up all my electronics. I need to do laundry. I haven't done it in a while, not since Truckee. I don't even know how many miles or days ago that was. But uh, I need to do laundry, charge my stuff, and I'm thinking pizza. Pizza's gonna definitely happen. All right, leaving the church in Chester. Here with ladies first. Up. Heading uh, across the street to the laundromat to hang for a second and gonna try our hand at 10 miles, maybe? Yeah. Hitching up to the trail and gonna check out a lake in at least 10 miles. Might stay there. We are in Lassen National Park in Northern California. Got a great swim spot here at the lake. Um, 17 miles in for the day and we're gonna do another 15 to Old Station where uh, we're gonna camp tonight and um, I think there's burgers there as well. No shortage of burgers in Northern California. So, nice, nice spot here to stop for lunch. Nice solid day on the trail. Uh, got 30 miles in and about two miles to Old Station. I'm gonna swing in there with Ladies First and another hiker uh, just up ahead. His name's Navigator. And um, hopefully Old Station's got some hot food and uh, a couple cold beers for us. We'll see. Gonna roll in uh, just before seven o'clock. So not sure what they're gonna have going. The lake that we stayed at uh, for a while back there, great swimming, and uh, wish we had more of that. Tomorrow's terrain should be pretty easy as well, and we're getting awful close to the California-Oregon border, close enough that we're talking about it at least about 300 miles. Maybe a little more, but that's that's uh, two weeks, uh, more or less. So I'm gonna try to get there and get California behind us, because wow, have we been in California for an awful long time. But ladies first is back there, and uh, 
Anyways, enough for me. I'm gonna enjoy these last couple miles. It's cooling off nicely. And uh, yeah, can't wait to be done so I can take off my shoes, put on my flip flops. Yeah, yeah. Keep it safe in the tower. Super, super, super eight. Oh, uh, probably super eight. And that other one's my tower switch, bro. Yeah, yeah. Right. All right, me and ladies first and navigator here. At the end of a 27-ish mile day. I'd round it up to 28. Round it up to 28. We'll give us some. Might as well take it 30. Yeah. Trail's a little ways down this dirt path, but there's... Uh, utility access road for this uh for these power lines here so we're gonna go against uh frodo's advice and um stay on the road oh all right we just got to uh bernie california 